All right, hi guys. I thought today we would do the divots. I like this one. It's a little different. We are going to be using um, the front post double crochets, but we're going to do three of them in one place. Uh, we're going to do three of them around the base here, which is making that uh, design. It is going to start with a actually the pattern starts with a single crochet base so let's do this I'm gonna go ahead and use the same yarn I'm getting a little bit low on it I'm kind of glad to kind of get through this one you know what I take that back let's use my whoops speckled yarn let's try that one it's a lighter yarn let's see what it does with a light lighter weight and a little bit of color here I think that it's a very pretty. I would I would see this in a uh, a nice blanket comforter, lapkin, whatever it was. Uh, you would probably enjoy. I'm going to use my four weight. I think that's. I'm trying to see what I have here. Or do I have a? Yeah. Let's do. We're going to use this one. It's just a little bit smaller. This is such a lightweight yarn. Okay, so let's get this started. Okay, so this is done in a multiples of four, and then we're going to add one. So let's just do that. I'm just going to make a small sample. So I'm going to do 12 or 15. Nope, 12 or 16. So let's see which one we end up with. Okay, I did 16 because of the lightweight of the yarn, so I'm going to do my one. And what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and skip the one, and the second one, we're just going to start that single crochet. And again, this is one of the stitches we've done many times this month. So we're just going to go ahead and, well, I think I'm going to do it. There we go. So let's just do that to the end, and we'll start row two. Okay, before we get too far, I did the multiples of four plus one and did I did I did do one turning chain just so you know so when we get done we should have that multiple of four plus one so I should have 17 stitches just kind of want to clarify that uh, because I don't think I, I said that was we were start you know turned so okay let we'll see you here in a little bit okay so if you did the same amount as me you should have 17 single crochets now I'm going to give you both ways you can chain two and turn and you will skip this first stitch that is uh, we've talked about this that is not my favorite so I am just going to chain one and turn and I'm actually going to do that chain two is going to was going to count as your double crochet I'm just going to make a double crochet that's my preferred turning method it does make it just a tad thick but it's I just like the way it looks better and now we're gonna do in the next one we're gonna do the uh, another double crochet I think my I've had too much coffee today um, okay N then we're going to do a single crochet next to that we're gonna skip one and in this one we are going to do front post, double crochet, three times. So one, I got a knot in my yarn. Come on, get out of it. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, so we just did one double crochet around the single crochet there. So we're going to put another one. Come on. Then one more. It gets easier as you build up because you're going to be doing them around the double crochets. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to skip one. So you want to make sure we're skipping just one. And then we're going to put a single crochet. And we're just going to do that again. We're going to skip one. And then we're going to do the three. double crochets around that next stitch one two 
to me this is the little more of the harder row because we're just going around those single crochets and you have to make sure you're only skipping one if you're unsure you can always look in the back so we'll skip one and anchor that down I know these are just single crochets but I, I always I call them anchors because I think it's tying down our stitches okay we're going to do the same thing we're skipping one find your next single crochet let's do that again and one more all right we want to make sure we skip the one we're going to anchor we're going to do the single crochet now we're at the end whoops come on up i'm losing you we're going to come up and then we're going to end with the way we began with two double crochets so one two i am i have drank way too much coffee already this morning i got up at five i got up early so i'm trying to keep up so we can kind of see they'll start to form and now i'm going to oops i keep losing my stitch we're going to I'm chaining one. If you want to do the chain two and count that as your first stitch, that's great. Just remember if you chain two, you're skipping this one and doing a double crochet. So we're, I'm just going to do a double crochet. Double crochet. Nope. No, we're not. Not on this row. Okay, we did a double crochet. We're skipping this one. On row two, we're skipping. And then we're going to do... What we did earlier we are going to do the triple three of these double crochets front post around that single crochet that we had made all right now this anchor is going to be you know the three stitches we made one two three there's the tops of them one two three we're going to put our anchor stitch in that one and then we're going to come to the double crochets this is a little bit easier because it's I don't know it just feels like you get a little bit more room and you're going to put those double crochets I think I said we were going to put them around double crochets but we're not we're doing them on the singles but it gets easier to do this as you can see remember on the sets that we did we're going to find the middle one and if it helps you to turn those tops closer you know towards you sometimes it does for me too especially this is really a lot lighter to look at yarn this is kind of a green a light very light green and this is the repeat which is what we're going to do from now on uh, it's going to alternate of course but we're this is these are the stitches we're going to do and when we turn we'll be re repeating row uh i've got to stretch that out a little bit where's that single crochet right there we're going to be repeating row one so it's a two row repeat and your stitches are going to stagger in between each other but it's the same stitches if that makes sense we're just going to, you know, begin our rows just a tad different. And now we are going to end this row with a double crochet. So you want to make sure you're finding the top of that stitch. And if you, again, a stitch marker, if it's easier for you, put a stitch marker on the top of that one to make it easier. It's all, you know, make sure you're doing what makes it good for you. Okay, there we go. And there's the two rows. And then when we turn, we're going to start the same way. We're just going to start it with two double crochets and repeat this, these two rows. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another row. We're going to start out with two double crochets. Remember, we're repeating row one. Oh, sorry. Technically, row two. 
the first row was uh, the single crochet. I'm sorry. I just totally forgot about that row, didn't I? We're going to do our second one. And then we're going to put a single crochet. And I'm going to put a double crochet. All right. So now we are going to jump over here to where we can see our single crochet. That's what we're working in. There it is. We're going to go around and do our one, two, three. Remember, we're looking for that middle of our cluster there. And that's are going to be our single crochet. So I'm going to finish this row and do maybe, maybe a couple more and then we'll look at it again. Okay, let's do the end of this row together because this is where we're going to put that single crochet. And remember, on this row we are ending with two double crochets. I want to make sure. There we go. So that's that in the variegated both sides. And let's get this one back a little bit bigger, but you can kind of see what we're doing. And it's, I think it's pretty. Now this would, if you were trying to figure out how much yarn you needed, I would say you would need a little extra because I think this would take up a little bit more yarn. But um, this is definitely going to be one of those I'm going to star and flag for a project because I do like it. And I have several family members that like a heavier uh, blanket. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was something new. Um, I like to front post stitch. We did the rib stitch was that way, front and back post double crochet. This doing the same technique, but just coming with a different design gives you a little bit of variation of what you can make and how to use that. And I appreciate it you watching and I hope you have a good day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.